Mm. Typical day. Got the hippie burger. <sighs> Got the hippity hop. Hey, What's you up? Should, you should still have that Brown Street sign. I should. I've been talking about it. You need to put it right beside that one. I should. But the only thing is, we found that like in the middle of nowhere. Brown, Brown Street, Street is downtown. But Brown Street's downtown, dog. Like, I want to. I, I don't want to buy one. I want to get one. <laughs> I, 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 want, I, want, I want the North Brown Street sign, dog. So what are we doing today? Down pipe. Fuel filter. Let me guess. You never put any PB Blaster on it, did you? I didn't have time. Dude. This guy. <laughs> this man. You know I wore my 12 hour shifts on the weekends. Oh my goodness. So I guess we're about to find out. Wait, so far, everything that we take oh, is out has given us any issues. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's it. That's the kit. Is that the one you're paying for? Yeah, but you no, know what you have just that showed kit. me? With the devil horns on the back? That's the kit. That's the kit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. I mean, I like it, but it's just not really me. Sick. Sick, dog. Sick dog. You got the red line. Okay. You got the dash lift still. You know, I wasn't a big fan of those until I seen a few of them clean and modified and the hard top. What the TRDs? No, the Gen 3. Gen 3. Uh the Gen 3 with the hard top looks not they're, too bad. They're growing on me a little bit. They just the, the fact that they made that a convertible is just wacky. Like just like I mean, why would you guys one, I wouldn't one. buy one? There's no way. Yeah. That's super clean, bro. I told you, dog. People sleep on that CRD kit. Mm -hmm. Everyone sleeps on that kit. My next car will be like 300 ZX. I used to have one. But His next car would be the SI and then the Type R. You got to stay a yeah, Civic I'm boy. I'm gonna start Dar with Civic Darwin's going to be the Honda guy. Well, why don't you just start with the Type R? You know how much expensive a Type R is? It's a newer vehicle. Everything's right in. It's 40 grand for the car. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Imagine all the parts and labor work. That's, and it's a, it's a new vehicle, so I'm going to have to pay up. His face looks fresh. Yeah. He's like, nah, man. Nah, not 40. Not 40 bands. Not 40 bands. So I'm like, that's what I'm like. I'd rather start with the Civic as I grow some, like, um, some fans on YouTube. And then, like, get a Type R. I mean, you might change your mind later on anyways, yeah. as far as what you want. I just want to say that you might not even want a Type R, you want it. I don't know, he might convince you to get a fucking Evo. Nah, I'm oh, I will. This, uh, look, I will. This, guy, this guy's a Mitsubishi guy. Boy, you better take that shit out your mouth right now. I am not a Mitsubishi guy. For everyone watching this channel right now, I hate Mitsubishi with a passion. I hate Mitsubishi. I only like old school Mitsubishi. Their okay, new stuff is guy. all garbage. Anything that comes out of a Mitsubishi dealership right now this year, 2021, is straight garbage. And then Wabaki, straight garbage. Wabaki is a Nissan fan. A Nissan guy. Yeah, Nissan guy. Have, Edgar's uh, a Honda guy. He's a Honda guy. I'm a Honda. I'm more of a Nissan guy. Nissan. This is just too expensive. Me, about, I like old school like Mitsubishi, garage, me, Toyota. Well, affordable dream garage. 300, 280, 240. A 240 yes, for sure. I think I think my dream garage, like pretty attainable. I'm not talking about, like people like ah, I'm getting a McLaren. No, I'm talking about, like, like pretty good. It's like Evo. Well, I'd you, like to have my MR2 and 3000 GT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3000 GT, 99, 3000 GT VR4. I, think I like the 99. The 99 dog. The 99. The 99 though. If I had oh, a, and of course GTR. I can't, Nissan, can't, can't, can't the, not choose a GTR. Was that Nissan the '69 one, the Skyline? Uh, Nissan '69, 1969. 1969. It was a Nissan. Are you talking about the? Haku, it's not the age. Yeah, it's like a ha Haku. Ha yeah. Haku. I know what you're talking about like the old school GTR. Yeah, and then that that would be my dream car, and the Soviet. That's your dream mm -hmm. car, the old school '69 one. That that one, yeah, that would be a dream car. Uh, all the Skylines, that would be the one I would really own. Over a 32, 33, and yeah, 34. Over, yeah. Oh, you were high, boy. Speed. And what? that one is not Bruh, that fast. But it's the 32, cool. 33, 34, yeah, nasty. Yeah, like, you want to cruise and feel good in it, but then also love the way the car works. Yeah. I'm sorry, dog. I'm gonna I'm I'm have to take the 32 or the 34. Maybe 33, but the, okay, the so three look, cars. Look at that. Look at that, bro. It's clean. But I'm that. sorry, dog. Okay. I'm gonna have to choose the 34. Look like, that. no, that's no, more. Hey, hey, yo, I'm gonna be like, I logic. Like I'm gonna have to decline your request. <laughs> what about what about a car that's not easily attainable, like a hundred thousand dollar car? Hundred thousand dollar car, R34 GTR. Simple. Simple.
34. Um, or, or or another hundred thousand dollar car would be. No, we're saying just like like dream car. Or they, if you had the money to get a hundred thousand dollars is either R34 GTR or surprisingly, I'm gonna surprise you guys right now. Or eh, nah, I was about to say something pretty stupid. I was gonna say a track hawk, but and I was like, eh. if I had the Jeep, had Jeep the, the Jeep track hawk is an all wheel drive Jeep with a well, Hellcat engine. I'll take that back. If I had all the I'd money, I'd probably take the R35 GTR. If I had the money, newer, pretty good on mileage or pretty good on like reliability, so 35. I don't know, bro. Nissan's, I don't know. This is a dangerous game. You gamble, you gamble with your money because that was a breakdown. But if I had the money, I'll yeah, look at look at my Nissan outside. The new M3s. Mm. Oh, yeah. I Four keep doors. forgetting. Oh, yo, hold up. Hold up. This man is not even a uh, Honda fan. He's a Beamer boy. <laughs> he's a, he's a Beamer boy. He's, he's a Beamer guy. He's the guy I pulled up the to money? the car meet with the rip. He, 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 he got the rip jeans pulled up. Look, look at right now. The rip jeans. The rip jorts. Short pants. I can't talk shit because I, I wear those too in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. But uh, I would go with the NSX. NSX? Yeah, that's, that's, like, nice. that's my baby, man. I get a Casa one or the newer one, the hybrid one. I get a hybrid one. I mean, they're, oh, well. They're, they're low key you can't, you can't get a GT40 for 100 grand, can you? Hell nah, dog. A G, uh, original GT40? That's, that's the absolute dream car. Shit's like a million dollars. For a real one, a Ford, Ford GT40 is like a million dollars. Uh, There's like six of them or something like that. In existence. Hold up, hold up. That's what, the, what, 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 what kind of price the range? To be the Ferrari. Yo, what what price range are we talking about for super? On that track, right? On that. Uh... They made a movie about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right? Here's here's a good question. You have two hundred thousand dollars to buy an iconic dream car that you would like never sell, ever. What's it gonna be? E30. M3. Yeah. E30. I said a hundred to two hundred thousand oh, dollars. Wait, did I say hundred to two hundred? Two hundred thousand. Yeah, you get yeah, right, two hundred thousand dollar max. Uh. You can You're still choosing an E30 yeah, M3? Yeah. You will never lose value on that money, bro. Let me you zoom. will never let me, let me zoom in on this face. You will right never now. lose money. This man a clown. You will never lose money. <laughs> you will never lose money. Two hundred thousand dollar BMW 3 Series. That's like, that's like You're not spending two hundred thousand on it. Yeah. You said that's you the. Said, you said I said. That's the limit. I said two hundred, but you're gonna drop. You're gonna literally let go of all the other cars that are worth two hundred thousand. Yeah, for, for that. For an one. E30 M3. Boy, just buy the M3 that's outside this door right now. No. Just buy the E30. I would go, I'd, I'd stick with the NSX. NSX, but I got both you guys made. I'm choosing. Uh, dang, how do I switch it? There you go. Yeah, I'm choosing uh, Ferrari F40. I don't even know that. I don't even know. I was like, yeah. Boy, look that shit up, and you got to be like, hold up. What is it? No, hold on, bro. Yeah, I, no, no, I, need to get, I need to get your know. facial expression when you see the F40. How do you spell Ferrari? Just type in F40. Oh, just type in F40. Just type in F40. You're going to be like, oh, oh, my God. This guy, I know this guy that, that did a video Bruh. on him. Bruh. You mean to tell me you're not going to get an F40 over no. a M3? You choose an F3 still? Yeah. Oh, all right. You wild. All right. You still picking my with your reaction, choice? Well, you still keeping I'm, your I'm, choice? I'm or you sticking with mine. But you keep your choice? To, my reaction to your car is... <laughs> <laughs> F40 is straight sex, dog. Bro, what are you cutting? That's what I don't understand. Let's crack it. Oh. MR2 problems. See, Come over here, sir. I had them before, too. Come on. No, man. Come on, dog. Let me get the smack. <laughs> yo, my man said this is the EGR. Which we still learning. We still learning. Like, I want, hold on, hold on, yo, hold on. I want to just have you look at this like years later, and you go like, "Damn, hold up." This is the EGR, and this is the EGR manifold. Hold up, it might not be manifold, but I know it's part of the EGR system. Hold up, boy. Hold up. When I see this, <laughs> you're gonna be like, "Oh, boy." EGR manifold. Hold up. Where's the fuck's that picture? EGR at? manifold. It doesn't exist because it's not an EGR manifold. Oh, it's the uh blow off valve. Ah, oh, fuck it is. Yeah, dog. You get that EGR delete. We live in the good old South Carolina. We don't have to worry about no exhaust so emissions. 
So would you delete this as well? Hmm? Oh no, no you upgrade this. It's a blow off valve. You upgrade it or you can block it off. Which is better. You block it off, it's gonna make that. Oh, the, the what's it called? That turbo, turbo flutter. Stool? Turbo flutter. Not stool, what's it called? Stall? Nah, turbo spool? Flutter. It's not gonna, spool? no, it's, it's gonna make the same spool up sound, but when you let off, instead of a blow off sound, tss, it's gonna be like, tss, it's gonna have all oh, the air. It's gonna sound like that little bird sound. Yep, it's gonna have all the air recirculate back into the turbo, which means the upside is, is your turbo will make, uh, it'll be less laggy when you shift. Mm. So instead of it building boost, it'll have more air, or more, more per se, more boost, PSI still in the So it's better performance-wise to take this off? Yes and no. It's like a it's like a big debate, sort of. So I know I'll probably get heated in the comments, but yeah, yes and no. Mm. So you can take it off. I may delete mine. I don't know. I have to think about that. I wish we had like another, let's say like $4,000 budget. I already know what I'd I do. I of course, of course, I had a few days off. Of course, wheels, tires, aftermarket intercooler pipe, uh, aftermarket. If I'm keeping this engine, aftermarket intercooler pipe, aftermarket uh, intake pipe, whatever they make, like a solid one that's a little bit bigger. It stays about this diameter right here, so it's better. Um, powder coat the valve cover. Get rid of this. Get a new uh, air filter. I'd still keep the stock turbo and everything until you can save up for engine build. Delete this. Move this to the trunk. Both of those cost free or this for free. Move this to the trunk. Um, we can move all that to the trunk? Tr probably, yeah. Should be able to. Yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely delete the EGR because, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. I was going to say something, but you That's know. I forgot. Favorite. You know. That's why my check engine lights on. <laughs> um, and then also probably get an aftermarket intake manifold, which would make it look amazing. Or even if not an aftermarket intake manifold, take that intake manifold off and polish it. Make it nice and clean. <laughs> what are you taking out? Uh, so you see this right here? No. You see the light? This bolt? Yeah. That's your. Oh, that's you're your doing the trans line. now. Yeah, I'm doing your trans. Oh, okay, okay. I I'm, thought you were putting I'm the about, exhaust back. I'm about on. to put that on a little bit, but I'm taking your trans. So what? All you have to do the the fix your trans or do the trans fluid. You got three bolts. You have one bolt right here. One bolt right here, and I'm gonna show you in a little bit. There's one bolt on the top side that you can access on the top with a with a funnel and well with a 24 and an extension. All you need to do, you grab me the the half inch drive ratchet, the black one that's on the bottom drawer. Yeah. Uh, you just need the. I'm gonna break these two bolts loose, drain all the trans fluid out, add new trans fluid. Now you do have trans fluid, right? Yes. Okay. Making sure we drain all the trans fluid and you don't have it. I'm like, well, you're stuck. So are we going to fill it up the top or are we going to use the pump? We're going to fill it up at the top. Okay. So all you need to do. Oh, this hasn't been changed in a long time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at those knuckles. Ah! Oh. Oh, she likes. Yeah. Yeah. When you're filling it up, you're gonna put a bolt through here and you're gonna look through here. You're gonna keep this bolt out. And see whenever, when it it's, whenever it's level and it starts dripping, that means it's full and you put the bolt on. Simple as that. So we're gonna drop it down, get all the rest of the trans fluid out. And then, uh, and then we're gonna take the bolt off the top. Will this be able to fit under the car? We'll see. We'll try to get it as level as possible. So, we'll see. Should be able to. You got a lot of transport, so your transport looks pretty good. Your transport lo actually looks, in my opinion, pretty good. So, that's a good sign. A tiny bit dripped out. It wasn't much, so it's not like... Yeah. Nothing insane. I know it's like down here somewhere where you... Damn it, dog! Is it in the way? Is something in the fucking way? <laughs> my my car is so easy to access. No. We could probably still get it, but it's like. Is it all... that right there? Yes, dog. Do you have a pump? Like, could we fill it up from I'm the top about, of the I'm pump? I'm talking about the bolt itself. Oh, fuck. <laughs> get that light up in here, dog. Ooh. Ooh. Make your way down in that inspector carriage, that, that, that cavern. Damn, I got a lot of shit. 
Nah, you won't be able to access it. No? We're gonna have to pump it. <laughs> Unless we take the entire air box out. Nah, hold up. Yes. Oh, right here, hold up. I guess, you gotta lower it just a little bit. You got it under the slot though. Under the slot. Slide a little bit forward. forward. This way? Forward. There you go. Shoot again. A little bit further out. Like pull it out a little bit. Not towards me? Mm -hmm. Good. First try. <laughs> First try. <laughs> so, you find out on the pump which side's the sucky suck. You throw the sucky suck down the bottom until you feel the sucky suck hit the bottom. Oh, yeah. It's hit the bottom. In and out. Make sure you double check. Hit the walls. Hit the walls. Wiggle it around. Hit the certain spot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then you grab your blowy blow. Oh, yeah. This is your blowy blow side, you know. Right there. Oh, shit. It's already <laughs> going. <goes>. Shit. <laughs> what happened? It's already leaking. Oh, okay. Sucky suck, the blowy blow. You put the blowy blow. Boy, you don't get off me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it to where they have like a POV this man, bed. This man out here. This man out here cuddling me. <laughs> All right. You see the hole? Damn, nigga, I'm fucking phone's going. <laughs> hole? Oh. Right in there. Oh, it actually stops. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take a minute. Hey, I don't feel like it's got any pressure now. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it out a little bit to see if it was pumping, and it was, it was pumping. All right, keep going. Keep on rolling. Oh, it's dirt. <laughs> oh fuck! You sure that's the right spot to put it in? It's not the right spot. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to do it through this. We're going to have to take your entire intake pipe off. Round. Whatever. We finally got the bolt out the top. Just wiggled my way down in there through all this madness that this car has. Oh, my bad. Oh, your butt's in my face, dog. Nasty. Mm-hmm. Juicy. Not that much juice. <laughs> <laughs> a juicy butt is going to go to the gym. My butt used to be juicy. I make sure it's going down. In. Okay. All right. Make sure it goes down in there. I can't really see down there. You gonna shine the light so I can see that it's actually going in. Mm, the, f the color change is so different. Can Pink you slash clear? You can put the headlamp on. Oh well, then give it to me. Since you don't want to contribute. Check and see. All right, start pouring, dog. We're done. Just need to tighten that thing up. That's all it is, peoples. Oh, look how low that thing sits. That's <laughs> so sick. So sick. All right, last thing. Just a little bolt. You should be able to do it even one handed. Kings. <laughs> <laughs>